Please help support the channel by entering code IROS in game. Thank you. Hey guys, Ross here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all having a good day to day. Now, guys, it's occurred to me from watching other players that I've randomly uh, queued up with and a couple of our content creators mentioned it to us that people don't understand how to upgrade their gear. I've been a couple of times when I've went on simple daily missions and someone's been the same level as me but they're dying to the most basic zombies and I'm hof constantly have to use my healing gun on them and stuff like that. I'm thinking how are they so weak? So in this video guys I'm going to show you what you should be doing every time you level up to a certain level to upgrade your gear how to do it what to use and stuff like that exactly step by step so without further ado guys if you'd like to leave a like on the video and make sure you do subscribe down below and we'll get straight into it right guys so then if i click on my character at the top left here you can see my combat rating is 9747 it's quite high and you can see all my gear on the left hand side here i've got level 32 chest level 33 hat 34, 36, etc. Now, I think what people are doing is they're not upgrading their gear. So if I run over to my workbench over here, you've got the workbench and you can go to craft. Now, it might not be aware to everybody here, but as you level up, for instance, at the Warren Assault Rifle you get at the very start, I saw a level 30 player still using this the other day. You've got level 10, level 20, level 30, level 40. Etc. Obviously, it's 40. It's the next one. I imagine 50 will be after that. But people aren't upgrading their gear to level 30. You've also got, if you go back, the craft armor. I've seen people still in the level 10 armor, which is this one. Level 20, level 30. So what you need to start doing is, when you level up, every 10 levels, you'll unlock a new weapon set and a new armor set for the respective level. Now, obviously, you can't wear the entire set at level 30. You'll have to level up to 36 to get the whole thing on. But... What you need to start doing is looking at what you need so you've got let's take the firefly tactical jacket if you're level 30 or plus right now you need crude leather plywood bro uh, plywood board normal leather rare skill now what you can do is to remind yourself when you're running around in the world is click obtain material create tracking list set track and target and that if you go to the left hand side now in your event tab will open up a tracking list for you and you can see every single thing you need to make that and that's including how much wood how much stone literally everything you would need to put together to make that item the same counts for if you need to make a new weapon say you want a heavy weapon you haven't made one yet let's for instance see a sniper rifle i've already got one but you can do the same thing you can create a tracking list set tracking target so that when you're running around you know exactly what you need and that's that obviously i can't make another one of them just now now another thing you can do guys um i've noticed a lot of people don't tend to do this but you get alloy reinforcement coatings you get maybe it's not there monster silicon particles etc i don't probably need them honest but if you go to your menu at the top and you go to equipment you can upgrade the levels of each enhancement which is what you use these for the alloy reinforcement coating now it's important to note guys you can only use this enhancement item if it's in your backpack i see a lot of people i've done it myself put it in your warehouse and forget about it and if it's in your warehouse you can't use it it'll not prompt you to use it but you're not upgrading these every time you upgrade an armor set if you use it, say my gun's plus 18, if I then went to a level 40 gun, it would still be plus 18. It's, it persists through upgrades. So whatever you upgrade to plus 18, plus 16, plus 15, whatever, if you change the actual item itself, it stays the same. So make sure you do that. Now, a lot of people ask us what you can use the golden tickets for. If you see the alloy reinforcement code, and then you go to purchase MG, you can actually buy a maximum daily limit of them for the gold tickets now i'm not going to do it because i'm starting to run out but you can actually put air uh, buy them like that to increase the thing next thing you want to do is with your weapons themselves you want to make sure you get all the different attachments now if you're not conf if you're a bit confused how to get these you also get them for your heavy weapon as well it's the same uh, bench you go to your workbench over here and you go to craft weapons and on the right hand side menu you want to go to the attachment now 
scopes aside, ignore the scopes for now, you want to make at least one of each one of these for your firearms, and then one each for your heavy weapons. And that's it, you just need to make one. The firearm uh, accessory parts, you can obtain these from the equipment shop, so just go ahead and buy a chunk of them. Once you've made them all, you don't need them anymore. And when you attach them to your weapons on equipment, which is down here, like I see it again, even if you swap items, it doesn't matter if you have an MPX or an EH4 or a SCAR or anything, these will transfer to whatever gun you equipped. Same for the heavy one. Now, when it comes to scope, you have to craft the scope and then you can just freely change this on your gun, whichever one you want to use. And also, guys, you can upgrade these. So you can see mine are all blue quality, some are... Uh, green quality you upgrade these using the accessory blueprint again you need these in your backpack to actually use them if they're not in your backpack they'll not prompt the prompt you that you've got any and these work the same you upgrade them it persists through level so it'll always be blue always be green or whatever and you can if you haven't got enough again purchase these for the golden tickets that you get from achievements etc but again there's a daily limit and these ones are quite more costly than the other ones now when we go down to our armor, you've got these things, which are your armor plate, clothes, whatever. They go in your things. Make sure you put these in. And again, I'm going to say it again because a lot of people don't get this. If it's in your warehouse, it'll not prompt you to use it. You can't use it from the warehouse. You need to have it on your person. But make sure you do attach these to all your items and make sure when it pops up, when you get duplicates of them, you can upgrade them and make it stronger. Now next guys, we've got the polish. Now I haven't actually done the polishing, I should, probably should. That's what they were for, the silicon particles. Now you can polish these and it will upgrade the rating of your guns, etc. I'm just gonna go ahead and put them all to push five. This is how you use silver as well. You need silver for this, so if you run out of silver, best to uh, remember that. But again, when you change your equipment you get better equipment and stuff the plus ones the plus fives and stuff will all stay on all the time so don't worry about them disappearing next you've got stat transfer now this works if you've got another gun of the same equipment so let's for instance say i've got the level 30 hk416 and then i made a level 40 gun and you like this leg armor pierce and you like this critical damage you can transfer the stats from this one to that one if you've got one obviously i'm not level 40 yet so i haven't got another gun to transfer to same goes for all these so you can pick and choose sort of which attributes from each item that you want to keep lastly guys we've got install chip i don't have any chips yet i'm imagining this is higher level but once you get chips you can you know attach them to your arm i'm not sure you can actually buy them yet or they might be uh from the store or something like that anyway guys that's pretty much it for this if you're struggling you're getting killed a lot you need to upgrade your gear you can also go to your main character menu up here and you click the next option down and if you look here it'll tell you things you need to improve on for instance i need to improve my drone i'm not really bored with my drone we've got equipment modification here which obviously you can use this if you want and see i wanted to get rid of the leg armor pierce so and modify that and it'll give us increased damage against zombies i'm not going to sit and do them right now on the video but you, it is optional you can change these different things if you don't want them on with them things anyway guys i hope this i hope this guide's been very helpful people are going to start to understand that they need to upgrade their gear how to upgrade it especially and like i say you run out of materials just go farm them go to a zone run around make a formula crafting list like this and just get too many stuff so you can make it very very easily anyway guys thanks so much for watching appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one